While employees of the Sarasota School District worked to assemble records in response to a subpoena from the FBI, former Superintendent Gary Norris is speaking out about his involvement in the investigation. SNN Local News 6 reporter Mia McCormick has the latest on this. Mia. Working with the television station in Waterloo, Iowa, we secured an interview with former Superintendent Gary Norris about a slew of grand jury subpoenas. Norris is now the superintendent of the Waterloo School District. Former school superintendent Gary Norris says he has no idea why the FBI is looking into the $14 million active board purchased the school made under his reign in 2006. I've gone back over my last six years. I've tried to um, recreate everything I knew that would even be marginally uh, subject to an investigation, and I can't. I can't come up with a thing. Communications made between Promethean, Norris, and his former IT director, Bob Hansen, are specific targets of the grand jury subpoenas. Norris says in 2005, a committee working to bring better technology into Sarasota County schools recommended the Promethean active boards. He says the committee was made up of teachers and administrators and that he was never even on it. They came forward and said, you know, we've got this product that uh, that appears to be taking uh, a, a stage in business and they're starting to use it more in education and it's called an active board or a smart board or a um, they had several different names. Norris says they did pilots with several different devices, but the committee eventually recommended Prometheans. The school district moved forward with the purchase. While other interactive board manufacturers offered a lower price than Promethean, district spokesperson Scott Ferguson says those products did not offer the same equipment Promethean did. After the technology committee advised the district this is the best product to use, we said this is the product that we want and we put, we put it out in the bid process to see who could provide it. Fast forward to 2008. Norris became the superintendent for the Waterloo, Iowa School District. There, he implemented a pilot program with the active boards and ended up purchasing another $4.5 million worth of the technology. When asked why the FBI might start this investigation, Norris had a few speculations, all which suggested disgruntled individuals or competing companies may have made some allegations. Interestingly, his former IT director, Bob Hansen, who was also the IT chief for the county government, has a history of making single-source technology purchases or purchases that other companies did not have a chance to bid on, and that drew criticism from the budget task force. Lauren. Mia, uh, going back to when this purchase was made here in Sarasota County for those active boards, I know that Gary Norris mentioned that it was a committee that recommended them. Was Promethean a company that he was familiar with or, or had had any previous dealings with? He said that it was not. The very first time he heard of Promethean is when the committee brought this active board product to him. He said before that he had no dealings with Promethean at all or even knew who they were. All right, Mia, thanks for this update tonight on this developing story.